I'm Margaret Livingston, and this is So Simple Now, the show that takes you from homemade to custom made. Many years ago, I bought this piece of fabric. I liked it because it was so cheerful and happy. I bought it in 1980, so it's been 31 years for me to decide what I was going to do with it. And not as long ago, but I also cut this little picture, this little Jeffrey Bean picture out, because I loved this fabric and I loved the, the picture of it. I thought it was such a pretty, um, pretty dress. And, but I never, until just very recently, I didn't put the two together because I had bought some fabric that I wasn't very happy with for, for you know, something to put together. I put a bright blue with it and it just wasn't, it wasn't quite right. So then I looked at that picture and I thought of how I could make this fabric similar, not exactly the same, but similar to this one. And so I, <clears throat> I went to different fabric stores, couldn't find yellow lace, and uh, finally went saw something that was eh, sort of right, but not quite. And then I looked a little further and I found some, um, some circles or polka dots, great big polka dots on cut, cut out. And uh, so I kept thinking of how I could use it. And I tried just putting the fabric over the top, and, but it stuck out because um, my bust line is fuller than this model's. And it looked sort of, well, I hate to say it, but it looked sort of a little old lady that way. It didn't look very interesting. So I kept thinking what I could do. So I then looked at this pattern and it had lines that I wanted. It circled around and made was high in the front and low in the back. So I thought, well, I could do that and, and I would put this, the circles, you know, the, the polka dots up here. And then I would um, put a little cape over, a little bolero, and it would go from short to long and around. And I think this is going to be a very nice dress. And the thing is, when you're making a design decision and you're stumped as to what to, what sort of thing to put with it and what pattern will look good with it, think about some of the things and maybe the things that you've cut out for magazines and see if you can't make Take something that you've liked and make it your own by visiting some fabric stores and seeing if something won't work for you. Because that's really how we come up with solutions we come and get something that's really individual and it really ours. Because we have to take our own bodies, our own fabrics that we actually find, and this is how we can find a real solution to something that we really are excited about wearing.